Time for a little painting on my Tacoma. But first, I gotta go get a brush. cent brush in the truck there um, we're gonna do a little bit of painting and no it's not the black horse lettering video for that was out the other day check that out if you're interested to see how I manage that but what I'm gonna do when I installed the bed rack and I also discovered something else now but when I installed the bed rack I used different hardware um, I will say black horse did uh, supply all black hardware which is cool that keeps the whole thing blacked out right I mean, I've had a sport bar before where all of these screws were actually silver. So pretty cool that they supplied this thing uh, with all black. But the hardware that they sent, of course, didn't work. <laughs> so I had to go with uh, different hardware that now I'm going to take care of as far as blacking it out. I don't like the silver or gold, whatever you call this, um, showing up. So, I've got some paint sitting up there. It's just a black satin enamel. I'm going to try to keep the paint off of the roll bar hardware and stuff itself as far as these side rails go. And then, when I did the um, lettering, which I mentioned earlier, right here, I didn't notice that, or I didn't think about really, what it was going to look like when it was done. And the backside is still red. You can see right there. I don't like that. I don't like looking in the truck and seeing that red. So we're going to scuff those up a little bit too and uh, actually paint them black. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I may end up just pulling them off and spraying them. Uh, I don't want to do that. And if this turns out okay, I won't have to, but that's to be determined. We'll see. So let's get you set up. First things first, need to go ahead and clean everything off with uh, rubbing alcohol, which I have here. Um, because I want the paint to stick as long as it's gonna. I'm sure over time it'll probably flake or chip and I'll have to touch it up. Who knows? We'll see. But I'm gonna do that first. Well, okay, got the rubbing alcohol here. Let's uh, dab a little bit on a rag. And I'm not gonna be real picky about how this goes, right? Just wanna give it a chance, that's all. So let's go ahead and wipe these off a little bit just to clean off any grease or manufacturing gunk that might be on them who knows again i'm not going to spend hours doing this uh, because frankly i'm just not patient enough you know that takes care of uh and it is bright out here look at that i'm like a ghost that takes care of all of the uh, cleaning for those. Now, I am going to go ahead and uh, sand the backside of the red areas that I'm going to paint as well. So, if I can find the sandpaper I brought out here. There we go. Just a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper. Just going to touch the back, sand those off a little bit so that I can get as good of adhesion as I can get in doing it, right? So, let me do that. And then of course, uh, I will clean them as well with rubbing alcohol too, uh, just to get them nice and cleaned up. <clears throat> okay, that's all I'm gonna do there. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down with some more rubbing alcohol. There. 
that's all there is to that. Now, go ahead and grab my paint and get started. Need a little bit of music. I don't know. Okay, away we go. My 87 cent uh, paint brush. Um, just gonna paint around the edges. Again, trying to stay off of the uh, actual bar itself there because this won't match up perfectly. So gotta be careful, I guess. Okay, that's the first one. I'm not gonna keep you on here for every one. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint all the rest and we'll come back on uh, at least to see a little bit of that red um, painting that I'm gonna do here in a minute, at least covering that red up black. So stay tuned. Okay, got them all painted. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but they are black. So that's all I was trying to accomplish. And I think I did. A little spot there I see, I might hit again. I might have to paint these twice, actually. I probably will. Um, but that takes care of all of those. So next, we're gonna paint that black. It's gonna be interesting to see how that comes out with a brush. Here we go. Uh, again, I'm just gonna paint it freehand black. Uh, we'll see how it comes out. I don't know, but let's make sure, yeah, you guys can see the carnage. Here we go. And this is just a little brush, so I can only imagine. There you go. That's it. I think that's what it's going to be once it dries. I don't think you'll ever uh, notice uh, that it was there. I hope it blends right in. But anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then we'll show you both. Got her all done. Um, wasn't difficult, of course. And I know a few of you are probably going to be saying, why did you even do this? Well, let me, let me give you an example. Did you ever see somebody's truck and think, gee, why doesn't my truck look as nice as theirs? You know, everything looks nice and shiny and well done and put together, professional, right? Well, it's the little things like this, you know, blacking out the bolts and the nuts, painting those little strips black so they blend in. These are the things that kind of put that little professional touch on the job, right? So let's take a look, see if you agree. Um, there's what it looks like on the inside now. You notice you no longer see the beaming gold or silver, whatever color that was, kind of like a bronze. Um, on the nuts and bolts. Everything is painted black, and I think that if you did, weren't aware of it, you wouldn't notice it. Obviously, if you look at it, you can see the bolts and the nuts there, but they all blend in now, right? And I think it looks pretty darn good. But I gotta say, the biggest change or biggest improvement was on those red strips, right? Remember the red strips? right inside where the blue lettering is, you know, this blue lettering right now. Um, there's a good shot all the way across. Right over there is where that red strip was, right? It's gone, it blends right in. I would challenge you to even know there's a plate screwed on there now. I'll be real interested to see. It's right below where the light area there is, right? That's where the strip is. So I can't wait to watch this back to see how well it actually blends in. But I got to tell you, sitting here looking over right now with my sunglasses on, uh, I can't even see that strip there now. It completely blends in now that it's painted black. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, would you do something like this? Would you go the extra mile or would you just slap that sucker on there and leave it the way that it is? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I've got two other channels. If you wouldn't mind, check them out. Subscribe. First one is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator back here. And the third is Rob Motive Civic, all about my past Honda Civic Sport Hatch. It was a manual six speed and my Honda Civic Type R. There's gonna be a new car coming to that channel here in a 
little while, but right now we're just kind of loading it up with some videos that used to be on the Rob Motive channel um, because they don't really fit that category anymore. So check that out if you would. Also, if you would mind, click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.